Hey, check it out. My carry handle works great. It stores all of my paints. Watch the rest of the video to see how this Crayola paint maker works. You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the new Crayola paint maker. Make your own washable paint. We also have this bonus refill pack. Now, anytime we buy a maker, we buy refill packs. So if we visit at a later date, we have supplies to use for now. I'll use what's in the box, and let's see exactly what's going on here. It says, add paint, color, shake it up. All right, that's exciting. Let me get this out of the way. And then, uh, ooh, this side says create. And then you can fold it up for easy storage. And then here's everything that comes in the box, which is my next step. So let me do that, get it all the box, and then we'll go over all the parts. All right, here we go. I am all set. I'll keep my instructions off to the side. If you don't want to see me set this up and want to go right to the mixing or painting part, look in the description. We will have a set of timestamps there so you can skip ahead. A couple things we don't need right away. The paintbrush. Not ready to do that. And then the color guide. We can move that. Here are the color strips because it's actually a strip that creates the color in the paint. Here's the bag of paint pots, they call them. And these are going to sit, once you're ready, in these little sections here. But they seem to lock in really nice so they won't fall out because you can fold this up and take it with you but we'll move that off to the side we don't need the actual paint base just yet the handle i'll put off to the side but i'll show you that you don't really need it right away and then the paper okay so we'll move that off to the side so basically i need to get this unit set up let's take a quick look at it it says crayola paint maker here and this turns red it's what's going to mix the paint. That's what the bottom looks like. And then each of the bottom bases, pretty neat, has cra this one has Crayola all the way around. This one has Crayola in a three spots. See that? So these are the side trays. So we need to get these installed. Now these go on with these clips. Now the clips has this have the square side with the little notch and then the rounded side. The rounded side is for your hinge. You just have to pop these in. And it can't take a little work there, so you're going to have to hear it click, I guess. When you hear that click, you know for sure it's in. As you can see, I'm putting some good pressure down on it. Okay. And then these just look like they snap in. I'm not sure. We'll see. doesn't snap in easily that way. Let me do it this way. Okay. Okay, it looks like it clicks into an up position and holds there. And this one here. Okay, so that's in actually the transporting position. Now here's where you only need the handle if you're going to carry it with you. So you would lock this in here and this in there and then you can pick it up to go. So we'll probably have to try that at the end with everything in it. Now these are going to click back. Okay. All right. So I think I'm ready for the next step. So let me get set up for that and we'll move on. All right. So I'm all set to go. It's actually put together. Now I need to get my strips, my actual paint base ready, and these little paint pots. So I had got a bunch ready, closed them up. You just kind of stick them in the little side chamber here. Now they were all opened, so I had to close each one and put them in. That's one of the steps. And the next step is the paint. It comes with a seal on the top, so I am going to just break the seal with a scissors. And pull that off. Okay. And then put this on. And then cap it up. And that actually sits right here, it looks like. Fits good there. And then I need to get my color strips ready. Let's read what it says. It says, carefully remove paint strips from metallic pouch. Lift clear plastic cover door. Okay, I don't know if it goes up more. I don't want to... Okay, yeah, it does. It seems a little, you know, it's still new. And then there's a pull peel strip here. 
All right. I'm just going to cut that across. Peel them. Okay, so that's done. Lift clear. Okay, uh, walls and utility tray, and insert one color per section. Okay, let's see what we get here. So we have blue, yellow. So there's a yellow strip, a reddish strip. Blue, yellow, red. So those look like my main base colors. You see them up close? They look like they're perforated. So you have to pull a section out at a time. Alright, so I am almost set for the next step. Okay, what does it say? Well, I can create my paint now. So let me move on to that next step. All right, I'm all set to make my first color. Kind of exciting. Hope you're ready to see this. I missed these the first round. Uh, they were kind of tucked in somewhere. Uh, but these are your labels, so you can write your color on there and then wrap them around your paint pot, which we'll do later, so I don't really need them right now. And then, of course, here is the color chart, so it's really up to you. They say it's based off of five, so if you put all five blue in there, you're going to get this nice, rich blue. Same with the red, same with the yellow. And then you have two number columns, so you have the blue column, the yellow column. So if you put all five yellow, you're going to get full yellow, but if you do four yellow and one blue, you're going to get this nice green. And same thing here. Now, it says no more than five, but what would happen if I put two? Will I get a nice like sky blue or baby blue, we'll have to see. Maybe create a couple of our own colors. So the first thing they want you to do is get your paint pot ready. And there's a little fill line in there. It's right there. And that's where you fill the paint. It says place an empty paint pot into your holder. Okay. That's set to go. Let's get this open. Let's just do one main solid color first so we can see and get a better understanding. It says remove cap from base paint nozzle and add up to add paint pot to the fill line. Okay. Here we go. I need to turn it this way. So instead of turning the whole unit, I'm just going to hold it this way. All right. So that is my paint. All right, so I said blue, so I'm going to do the blue. So all the strips. Now, if you look at these strips, there's a backing side and a paint side. This is the paint side. This is the backing side. It's like a plastic sheet. So they want you to just carefully fold on those dotted lines. Now we're going to need a whole sheet so it won't be as hard. And if you see, I just folded. It kind of broke that seal between the two. And then there, it's coming up now. I just keep folding it. There we are. So there is one sheet. So I'll just set it here for now. And then if I only needed two, then I'd have to split the next one right at the, the line. I could see this will take a little time if you don't want to, you know, if you want to keep them nice and even. If they rip, it's okay because you only, you know, you can just put the ripped pieces in. There's two. Now I want to see if I can, if it'll let me pull off the rest since I need that whole sheet. There. Plastic is gone. Now maybe I can show you how these are connected easier. You can see there's a perforated line. Okay, so there's all five. So now it says take, uh, now put the strips in. 
and then I gotta mix it. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I need to go to the mixing part. So I need to just set up here and get you a little better camera angle. All right, so as you can see, there is this open section here. So you're gonna put this in here and then turn it slightly and this locks in really nice. So now I am set to turn. So I'm gonna be turning this wheel and it's gonna be shaking my paint. It says about 30 seconds. I don't know if you can see. Is it changing colors? Let me give you a little tighter spot on the actual paint bucket. Try to get my hand out of there. Looks like it's starting to mix in there. Okay, so it says you can look at it, and if it's not enough, then you just keep mixing. So let's see. All right, so it is starting to slowly break down. It's not mixed enough. shot here. All right, here we go. Now I'm going nuts. Now, it's pretty neat how this little mechanism works. Here, check it out from the back. It's sliding up and down this rail and it's on this offset almost like an axle here. So now it looks like it's mixed, but not totally mixed. Okay, what do you think? It's a little better. You can just tell that it is better, but it's not a really dark blue. Oh, there you go. Okay, so that's not too bad. Looks like there's still a little bit in there, so I'm going to mix this a little bit more, and then uh, when I come back, we'll try another color. All right, so it was just a little bit longer. I wanted to spare you the some of that sound, but I think it's pretty good now. So this color... A little bit here on the side, but overall, I would say we're pretty good. Should we just check that color out real quick here, see what we got? I don't have any kind of uh, washing container yet, so let's just see. Okay, that is the blue we just created. So let me uh, try another color. All right, I'm all set. Now there's my blue, and I can hold it up to the color chart. Here, I'll show you it on the paper. Now the paper's not the easiest thing to see, but it's definitely lighter. But I think, like with most paints, before you paint, don't you mix it up just a little anyway? There's an extra blue in there. Maybe it'll get a little darker. The machine worked pretty good. It didn't get it all, but... You know, you're going to paint, you're going to mix your paints before you start, usually. So, let's see. So, I'm thinking now that I'm not going to do a five. I'm going to pick, make my own color. I'm going to do one red. Okay, one red. And then one yellow. And then two blue. And see what I come up with. How about that? So Let me get these set. One red, two blue, I said. 
And one red sheet and one blue. Now remember, they say five. I think one time I'm going to try to just do one with just one sheet and see how light the color is. If you get like a pastel color. I really do think a tweezers would be helpful for little hands and big hands. Okay. Yes, I have pink tweezers. I have all color tweezers. I forgot what I said originally. One, one, and two. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to break away, not do all five, and then mix three colors. And then two blue. And I probably could just break it at the two point. Now you notice it's not getting on my finger, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, hard to break at the two point. I'm gonna actually I'm actually purposely just ripping this to see you know how well, sometimes it's harder to get off the sheet there we go I thought I had it there I guess too maybe just you know every once in a while one's not as perforated as you would expect let me save the little scrap this corner here. Let's see. There we go. Okay. A couple little scrap pieces I'll try to fit in there, but we are making an odd color now. So remember there's the fill line, so go to the fill line. Alright, so here we go. See, I've got little pieces here and there. Okay. So I'll do some of the mixing for you. I know it's, it's kind of loud. So what I'll do is I'll just start the mixing with you so you can see it again. You just take that there. And you clip it in and you're set to go. Cap up my paint. And then I'll cut out at some point and come back. And we'll see what it looks like.
right, that's pretty good. Let's take a look at it now and see what we have. All right, that is an interesting color. I'm going to call that, uh, I don't know, I'll name that in probably a little bit. Let me mix it just a little bit more, just to make sure I have a nice color variation there. All right, so my two colors. Let's see, I've got that one and I've got the blue. Let me get a sheet here. I'm gonna label the first one blue. Let me see, blue. Well, this is a, I don't even know if it's permanent, so I have to be careful putting that on. Now, the way the label is, it looks like it goes around this lip. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this without touching my blue. Yeah, it looks like it's going to go from here. To there. There's my blue paint. All right. Let's store that one. Now, what do we call this one? Hmm. Let's call this... I'm thinking. What would you, what would you call it? Hmm. Let's just call it... Olive. Went a little over my line there. So uh, leave a comment below what you would call it in the comments. All right, olive is set. Let's uh, make another color. All right, so I said I wanted to at least try one lighter color with just a few strips. I originally thought blue, but I'm not going to do blue. I'm going to take two reds and see if I can get a light pink, a real light pink. So remember now, fill this up to the line. And now do the strips. One. Oh, that one came out nice. Oh, those came off real nice. Two, real easy. All right. So two strips. I want to make sure they don't stick by my lid anywhere. All right, off to the mixer now. Move that all out of the way. Get out of the way. There you go. Stick it in here. And start mixing. It seems to help when I hold the base right here. I guess you could hold it up here. But you definitely need two hands on the unit. saw it change there in the camera to a lighter pink. Let's just take a look at it. I still think too that you should come back and just mix it a little by hand with a little... Oh, that came out nice. So a little brighter than I was expecting. All right, so let's mix it a little bit more. What am I gonna call this one? Hmm. All right, I'm happy with that one. 
Let's give this one a name. How about we call this one Pinky? No, let's call it... I only have so much space to write this with my marker, you know. I can't put a super long name like Watermelon or... Let's just call it Pinko. That's my color. It's my own color. I created it. And I do want to do a little painting for you, so that's why I'm going to wrap it up here. Come back. And then paint on some of the paper they provided. And that marker stays, so it's not too bad. All right, so I've got Pinko, Olive, and then Blue. So I'll be right back and do a little painting for you. All right, I'm all set to go. I can, uh, I have a towel off to the side. Yes, it's a pink towel. I've got a pink towel and a pink tweezers today. And I brought in uh, my little screwdriver to mix, just to see if it darkens up. Yes, it did. So there is color on the bottom. Got much darker. So before I paint, I definitely wanted to mix this a little bit more. Normally, I don't use a screwdriver, but it was handy. I can just wipe it clean again. So there's my blue and then my beautiful olive green. Look at that. Ooh, what a pretty color. I normally don't like to use my paintbrush to mix it. Toothpicks, I'll use toothpicks. Anybody else use a toothpick to mix their little cans? I didn't have any toothpicks handy. Now let's see if my pinko... See, I thought it'd be much lighter with two strips. That one actually mixed pretty good, better than all of them. Okay, so there's my three colors. What can I make with that? Hmm. Let's get the brush, and then we'll see, you know, how the paint comes off on the brush. Also, my fingers, I should see. All right, so blue is always good for a sky, right? I need to get a bunch of blue out there in my sky. Twirly sky. I'm overloading my brush just to get that extra on there. And I don't have anything on my surface here, so let's see. All right, let me get my brush back into a nice tip. I'm purposely getting it on my countertop so we can see how this paint comes off. Okay, nice swirly blue sky. Let's even that out now. Now, I'm sure you're going to supply your own brushes. You have your brushes that you like to use. Let's just see. That's with no water. That came out pretty good. Let me get a little cleaner on it. I would say it pretty much all comes right off. Okay. And then now, you know, I have some pink. What do I want to do for pink? Let's just say I leave some white space there and I'll do a little green shrubbery here. A very strange green. I want it to be a little thicker.
How's that? Like a big bush off to the side. Got some blue mixed in with that. There's still some blue in my brush. Okay, I don't know what that is. And then we'll just finish it off with a little green bottom. All right, look at that. Ooh, I'm making a painting. This is something I've never done in a video. Pink. What do I do with pink? Well, I think I need some color on my plan here. In my bush. How's that? And now I think a butterfly. A giant Mothra style butterfly. This is why I don't paint on camera because I can't. That's my butterfly with a strange set of wings. All right, there you go. That is my first ever painting. So the paints work great. And this is the Crayola Paint Maker. I hope you enjoyed the video. I think uh, we'll end up here with a nice little slideshow like we've been doing, a little music for you. If you want to uh, see more Crayola products, look in the description for a playlist or search our channel. I've got lots of colors to make, so maybe the next time we update the video or remake this set, I'll have a lot more colors for you. And thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. And thanks to everybody who's subscribing, sharing, and... Uh, oh, wait. Let me get the punch on my... Get it on my finger. Okay, yeah. So it looks like it should just wipe, wipe off right away. Oh, that's it. So it wipes off real easy off your fingers. And thanks for watching. Again, like the video. It helps us out a lot. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.